now and joins us live. Kristen, what was their message? Well, Chris and Abby, hundreds of students are protesting here on campus today, and they're demanding action from UMass Amherst as war in Israel rages on. Now, just more than two weeks ago, mo since militants from the terrorist group Hamas carried out a surprise attack on Israel, and war continues to rage on overseas. Students began their rally outside the student union this afternoon and marched to the Whitmore Administrative Building. They tell Western Mass News what they are asking for today. We are one of over 100 campuses doing this today. We are calling for an end to this genocide happening in Palestine. And we are here with demands for the university to cut ties with weapon manufacturers that they have partnerships with that are aiding directly in this genocide. Students then delivered their demands to the university chancellor, calling on him to listen to their request. They are also asking UMass Amherst to condemn the blockade on Gaza while the Israel-Hamas war continues. We want the university to condemn Israel's massacre in Gaza and the occupation in Gaza. And we want the university to also say they stand with Jewish students, with Palestinian students, with Arab students, and with Muslim students who are fighting for justice. And resistance is not up for debate. As of now, students are waiting until their demands are met. They say if they are arrested, protests will continue. Now, we did reach out to U.S. Amherst for comment today, but we have not heard back yet. Coming up tonight at 5, we'll hear from more students participating in today's rally. For now, reporting live in Amherst, Kristen Burnell, Western Mass News.